It's the biggest game of the season so far. Bayer Leverkusen are in town. Things are hotting up, as you can see in the league table there. We've got one or two little transfer updates and obviously quite a few matches to catch up on in what has been a very frustrating month in game. Hello there and welcome back to the channel. As always, thank you, thank you, thank you for coming back to the channel and clicking play. We are with Kaiserslautern in Football Manager 2021. We're getting straight into the highlights here. The first game since that last video against Holstein Kiel was a 2-2 draw away at Eintracht Braunschweig. Kenny Prince Redondo put us in front, uh, but straight after half time, within what, three minutes I think it was, we found ourselves 2-1 down. Vidra there with that first one. And then, yeah, within 90 seconds or so, it was 2-1. Uh, but we did manage to rescue a point. Our on-loan striker from Wolverhampton Wanderers, Niall Ennis, turning in Shakiri's uh, shot. He turned it in to rescue as a point. And it was a deserved point. A draw was a fair result. Neither team really bossed it. It was a bit of a... Not, I mean, the stats suggest it should have been a pretty decent game, but there weren't that many highlights um, and a draw, definitely the fair outcome. And if ever there was a game to quit and reload, it was this one. Um, you, when you see the stats, it's going to blow your mind. We went 2-0 up, that phenomenal strike from Marlon Ritter. Then Kenny Prince Redondo danced through to slot us into a 2-0 lead. But the theme of this month has so far been that 2-0 is not a safe lead at all. They were back on uh, back in the game just before half-time. Uh, Jeremy Jeff getting that goal. What a great name. And 17 minutes from the end, Zogra Fakis pulled down a very high ball and finished superbly. But look at these stats. Just look at these. 28 shots, 10 on target. They had two shots on goal, two on target. Got out of there with a point. They even had a goal disallowed as well um just bef just after they just after half time jeremy jeff was i mean it was that goal from marlon ritter was absolutely stunning and could well win goal of the season for us but yeah i mean how frustrating is that karlsruhe were the next visitors to the fritz walter stadion lucas gottwald got us underway after eight minutes and then a um a lovely ball in here from Chifchi found at Niall Ennis at the back stick to put us 2-0 up. But as I said, it's not a secure lead, it seems, in FM21. We were back at 2-2 on the hour mark. Frustrating, but we did manage to get the, the win just past the hour mark. Niall Ennis, I mean, I said Marlon Ritter's goal in the last step game might be goal of the season. That might just have trumped it. And brilliant strike from Niall Ennis. He is having a wonderful time on loan from Wolves. Um, and we've got some news on that, actually, uh, just once we've caught up on the next game. And that game was a very, very, very stinker of a game. <laughs> it was terrible. There were two highlights, both goals. That was it. Two highlights. Elias Hoot put us in front and... Then a bit of a scramble in the box and Raum finished it off. And that was it. That was it for Greuterfurt. They got their point. It was a stink. As I say, look at the stats. It was an absolute stinker. Two highlights, two goals. Let's get out of there. So you would have seen the league table in the intro. Here it is again. We are three points behind today's opponents, uh, Bayer Leverkusen. Union Berlin have already won this weekend. If we just go back to their results, uh, they won 3-2 at Holstein Kiel. Heidenheim drew at Darmstadt. Uh, Nuremberg, I think, played on the Friday. They did, and they beat Dresden. So it's got very, very tight now um, in that top three. If we lose today... We are very, very vulnerable. I am getting extremely anxious about how this is going to go now. We need to win today. And just to go back to Niall Ennis quickly, he is joining us on a permanent deal from Wolves 
in the summer. I, his contract was up. It was always the plan that if he, if he made a decent start, it was always the plan that I was going to go in and try and get him on a free because look at the stats. He's phenomenal, isn't he? He is absolutely brilliant. He's going to be superb for us in the Bundesliga as well. Should we go up? If we don't go up, I think he'll fire us to the Spiter Liga title next season. To be fair, if Leverkusen weren't in the league this season, I think we'd win it this season. Um, he's scored six goals in eight games so far in, all, in uh, all competitions. He's only played in the in the Bundesliga, uh, in the Spiter Liga. Sorry, um, he had three and four when we went to sign him. So he carried on that form even after agreeing a permanent deal. So so happy to get him in. He's going to be he's going to be an absolute star for us. He really is. Um, the team we're going with. Uh, Dominic Shad is back for this game. He's back from injury, so he retakes his position in the team. It was a no-brainer, really. He is our first choice right back. There was no other option. Uh, Carlos Sikinger is in the starting lineup from that game against Greuther Foot as well. Thomas Shanto is injured um, or ill. I can't remember one of the two, but he's, he's almost fully fit, but not quite. And Carlos Sikinger, very, very good player. Just signed a new deal with us, so I'm very happy with that. Um, this is going to be an interesting game. You may, you should really have remember the last, <laughs> the first meeting, uh, that ridiculous five four when we were four nil down, got it back to four three, went five three, and then we got it to five four. I honestly thought we were going to get a point out of that. I really did. Um, I want revenge. That's all we're going to say. Want revenge. Gerrit Nauber. He does miss out due to injury. So unlucky. He resumed full training from his last five or six week layoff and got another five or six week layoff it's been a, a disaster of a signing to be honest um but it's one of those things in it players get injured um right just two questions let's see what formation they're coming with with us uh we i am relying on marlon ritter in this game i mean we rely on him in every game to be fair i think he's just broken the assist record for the division as well it's a four two three one uh, Berisha up front for Leverkusen is a stunning, stunning player. Um, he could well cause us problems today. Um, right, we're in. In from kickoff as well, which is interesting. Um, just going to whip the volume up a little bit because I do like the crowd noise in there. Right, here's Hoot. Hernando, Chifchi. Ball out to Shad. Good tackle, but he's ridden it. Oh, and it's a good tackle again. Oh! <gasps> Dennis Aitkin has blown for a foul. We have a penalty. Oh, it wasn't a foul. No. Oh. Controversy in the first minute. Oh, and a goal in the second. And it's Kevin Krauss from Marlon Ritter, the assist king. I was saying a minute ago, he's just broken the assist record for the Spider Liga. I think that's assist number 13 now for him, maybe. I mean, we said when we were in the Dreiter League, his coaching report was a good Bundesliga player. He is playing far below his level. We absolutely have to hold on to him if we do go up. What a huge goal that could be. Kevin Kraus heading in from the corner. I'm not going to do anything. I'm not going to do any shout outs. I'm not going to do anything because it's not been a great game. We've had two minutes of absolute drama at the start and um, we're now on 15 with our third highlight of the match. Here's Chif Chi. Ennis was looking to make the run there. Chif Chi just bringing it forward. It's decent play from Chif Chi. Nice and calm. Redondo gives it him back. Chif Chi to Sikinja. Hoot. Lovely ball. Niall Ennis. Oh. He's drilled it wide. Those of you who follow me on uh, social media and uh, that know me know that I am a Leverkusen supporter. They are my German team. Um... But I desperately want to beat them. I desperately want to beat them today. Absolutely need to beat them. Um, why did he not count that shot? Was he offside, Niall Ennis? Was he off? I didn't. Was he offside? I've got because he didn't count it as a shot. Um, I'm glad he missed. If he was offside, <laughs> because if that had gone in, I don't think I would have noticed it had been disallowed. <laughs> I would have gone in absolutely bananas. Um, Sikinger challenging Paulinho. They've worked away though, and they could be in here. Yankov, they're flooding forward. Here's Ilas Bebu. Good block on the cross. Redondo will bring it away now. Hits it down the channel for Ennis. No one with him. But he's gone over. Ref! Ref! Wow. How is that not a penalty? He carries on though. Ennis with the shot. 
Redondo's going to get to it. Back for Chief J. Oh, yes. Only a second goal of the season, but we are 2 0 up. The Fritz Walter is going absolutely crackers. Hikmet Chifchi with an absolutely wonderful hit. Right through that little gap in the crowd. Could not have hit that any sweeter. Could not have picked it up and played and carried it any better, could he? That was like an arrow into the corner, but 2 0. You've just seen the highlights of the last few games. 2 0 means nothing absolutely nothing what it does mean at the moment is we're top on goal difference what it would mean at the moment is we'd have that four point cushion on Union Berlin who we play in a fortnight that will be the next episode as well we've got a game away at Sandhausen and then we've got a massive game against Union Berlin which again is going to have to be on video uh, we after this I think we're down to six games so we are pretty much probably going to have to do every game on camera I think um, but here's Paulinho away he comes and they're back in it never in doubt was it he never looked like he was going to miss there was absolutely no messing about there was no dithering there was nothing he was just in and shot lovely tackle and pass from Charles Aranguiz and I mean he just knew what he was doing and executed it perfectly such a shame we couldn't keep a clean sheet till half time but as I say 2-0 means nothing in FM21 it seems unless you're 2-0 down <laughs> um, oh and I suppose that will put them back top won't it yeah it puts them back on top on goal difference we do have a couple of other games going on but I don't think they really mean anything to us they're a lot lower down in the table um, oh I'm gonna pump fists and Let's win this one and take us to the top. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Whew. Come on, boys. I don't know whether to do any shout-outs or not. I don't think I really should. I think it could just upset things. Here's Jamie Lou Collins. Plays it in! And Marlon Ritter has scored! And we are 3-1 up. We have our two-goal lead back. Marlon Ritter is far, far, far too good. He was far too good for the Dreiter Liga. He is far too good for the Zweiter Liga. He hopefully is going to stay with us in the Bundesliga if we get there. And he is going to be phenomenal for us. He is key to what we do. Jamie Lou Collins with the assist as well. Um, that game against Sandhav, we do have three or four players that are one yellow card away from suspension. And I've got a feeling Jamie Lou Collins is one of them. I think both centre-backs might be. <gasps> <clears throat> Hernando just wide with that header um, but I've played them all in this game because I'm happy for them to miss the Sandhausen game because then they'll be back for Union Berlin if they don't get the suspension today they're going to be rested for that Sandhausen game anyway uh, brilliant ball to Ennis from Marlon Richie he's gone for the lob he got it all wrong though we're not going to see a highlight I think he went with the right foot and I don't think he should have done although I think he's a left footed player I think, Niall Ennis. Um, Kevin Krause is one yellow card away. And Hernando's headed over. Oh, we should be well clear in this game. I don't want Kevin Krause to come off. I want him to get the yellow card. <laughs> I want him to be suspended for the next... He's not playing the next game anyway, because if he doesn't pick up the yellow card, I want him for the, the Union Berlin game. Uh, we are going to bring off Niall Ennis. No, we're not. No, we're not, because he's probably not going to play that game anyway. Elias Hughes can come off. Thomas Pleddle can come on. I'll bring Collins off because he's been booked. And I don't want him getting a second yellow. And Marcel Schmelzer can come on. Uh, uh, sorry, it's Philip Herscher. Sorry, Philip Herscher. Uh, Marcel Schmelzer we have set to uh, release. He, he will be leaving us at the end of the season. I've done that purely because um, we've got a new a new left back coming in so um, and a really good looking one as well uh, that I did show you and um, I showed you him because we made the offer for him and I showed you him in the last episode I think uh, but he, it has gone through anyway so Marcel Schmelzer his 15 grand a week wage is coming off the wage bill as Pauli oh my word what a header what a header from Paulinho 
how has he got that in? Yankov with the ball here. Look at this. How? How do you score that? That is absolutely ridiculous. Oh, God. I was going to bring Ennis off because he's not playing well, but he might help us still. But do I bring the lethal Lithuanian on? Here is Ennis. He's doing well here. Into the box. Hits one! Oh! I thought I was going to bust it through the top corner. I thought for all the world I was in. I mean, that goal from Paulinho again puts Leverkusen top on goal difference as things stand. And he's in from Marlon Ritter. He's done it again. It's his second goal of the game. His 15th of the season. I, I'm not going to find a player in this game that I love more, I don't think. I wonder as well, tap sober on Ennis there. Was that a foul? Would that have gone to, to be a penalty, Do you, I wonder? Oh, and it's in. Oh, my God, the goals are raining in. It's 4-3. It's Fen Bender. It's tapped over with the header that hit the post. And can we see an offside replay of that? Whoa, 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 whoa. Why are you showing the offside from when the free kick was taken? What about when he headed the ball? He was offside when the ball was headed. If they get a point out of this, I am fuming. Ritter. Looking for Ennis. Plays it. Oh, that was a brilliant ball back. Where was the midfield? Oh, don't end 4-4 four, four, for the love of God. Oh. I do not believe it. It's a phenomenal finish. Look at that. I mean, goals galore in the two games now. <sighs> Just a little demand more. Can we get forward and get one more chance? Is it going to happen? What a game. What a game. I mean, right from 30 seconds in, we had the penalty appeal. And then we took the lead, what, on 90 seconds. And then the very, very final goal of the game is in stoppage time. Oh, and I know I'm going to get crucified in the comments saying I should have shut that one out. But we were 4 2 up with seven minutes. To, I should have done. I should have shut that out. I should have gone for the win. Oh, I am fuming. Ah, I don't know if you can hear that. I've got a window open here because it's warm in here. And we've just got a road sweeper turn up. So if we do get some uh, noises, apologies. I mean, 5 4 at the Bay Arena, 4 4 here phenomenal game and they, they're exactly what those two games should have been that's exactly how these two teams should have gone at each other I'm at, do you know what I'm gutted I am gutted that we've let that go but I'm absolutely delighted because don't forget Bayer Leverkusen are a Bundesliga team we can match Bundesliga teams I mean we we were one nil up at Dortmund until we got Thomas Pledel sent off and then we lost 4-1 but we were still in that game quite late on we beat Bayern Munich of course look at the run to the semi-final last season and the teams that we beat um, I think we're going to go up to if we do go up to the Bundesliga which I'm now realising a draw is a disastrous result because it means we're only two points clear of third place um, but we can hold our own against the top top teams for sure um, Niall Ennis I mean if that if that Thunderbolt went in he would have had an 8.5 wouldn't he so oh but it does uh, I mean to be fair we're three points behind by Leverkusen with six games to go if you told me that at the start of the season I mean I, I wouldn't have believed you for a start but I would have absolutely taken your hands off with for that because that would have been ridiculous Um Let's get back to the home screen. I'm I'm really, really happy with that. Did we pick up any yellow cards for that Sandhausen game? Uh, Jamie Lou Collins is suspended. But if we quickly look at the tactics screen, um, I've got Kevin Krause 
and Carlos Sickinger, one yellow card away. So they probably won't play in that game at Sandhausen. Um, oh, I am, I am kind of good. I'll be honest, I am kind of good. Especially the run of form we're on at the minute. I mean, four draws in the last five games now. And that's what's put, that's what's put Leverkusen clear. Um, because while we were drawing three and winning one, they lost one and won three that month. So, is it better to be unbeaten? Or is it better to win, win two and lose one? Um, I think we all know the answer to that. Right, we are going to come back. And in fact, what a double header that is. We're going to do the Sandhausen game off camera. Oh, or are we? I, do you know what? I think we're at the point. We've got six games to go. That's three lots of two. Quick maths. Um, no, we're going to do them. We're going to do them on camera. Because look, after the, after the Sandhausen game, we've got third place Union, sixth place Fortuna Dusseldorf, and fifth place Heidenheim. I have to do all those games on camera. All three of those. Then we've got Sam Pauli and Erzke Berger Auer. So if we do need wins at the end of the season, we've got two very winnable games there. But yeah, I'm going to come straight back in with Sandhausen and Union Berlin in the next episode. And after that, it'll be Fortuna Dusseldorf and Heidenheim. And hopefully that might just have seen us up. But as always, thank you so much for watching this video. Smash that like button. Turn on the notifications as well as subscribing. Uh, jump in the comments. Jump in. Uh, yeah, please be gentle, Mark. Especially you. I know you're going to rinse me for that. Being 4-2 up and, lo and not winning. Um, I should. I know. I know. I know. I should have driven the bus on the pitch and parked it. It's my fault. I'm the manager. I make the decisions. It's my fault. Uh, <laughs> it was entertaining though. It was dramatic. It's a series. It's a, you know... it. It adds to it, doesn't it? What a what a match. Um, I'd come back for the next one. Sandhausen and Union Berlin. Thank you for watching. See you soon. Bye-bye.